Paneer bhurji is a simple yet delicious side dish made from crumbled paneer. In this video, you'll learn how to make it step by step. You'll need one medium chopped tomato, one medium chopped onion, a one inch piece of finely chopped ginger, two cloves of finely chopped garlic, and two finely chopped green chilies. You'll also need one and two third cups of crumbled paneer. You can buy this at your local Indian grocery store or make it at home using homogenized milk. For the spices, we'll be using one teaspoon of whole cumin, one teaspoon of turmeric, and one teaspoon of coriander powder. We'll also need a teaspoon of red chili powder and salt to taste. I'll be making my bhurji in a nonstick pan and using two tablespoons of canola oil, but you can use any other vegetable oil of your choice. Turn up the heat to medium high and let's get started. Begin by heating the oil in the nonstick. You can test the temperature by dropping one cumin seed first, and if it crackles, then the oil is hot enough. Add the remaining cumin seeds to the hot oil. Then, add the green chilies, chopped tomato, and chopped onion. Combine these ingredients, then add the chopped ginger and garlic. Give everything a stir, and then add the remaining spices turmeric, coriander powder, and red chili powder. Incorporate the spices and reduce the temperature of the stove to medium-low. Now add the paneer. You may need to squish it in the nonstick to properly combine it with the other ingredients. Add salt to taste and mix it well into the entire dish. That's it! Paneer bhurji makes a wonderful side to any main dish and it is best enjoyed with naan or chapati. You can garnish it with fresh dhania or coriander and this recipe will serve three to four people. Here are some variations. Sometimes when I make this, I add a quarter cup of green peas or finely chopped bell pepper for some added color. You can even add half a teaspoon of garam masala and half a teaspoon of ground black peppercorns for an extra kick. If you feel like your bhurji isn't moist enough, a quick fix is to add two tablespoons of milk or one tablespoon of ketchup or tomato puree. If you don't have paneer, you can still make this dish with cottage cheese, but it will have a slightly different texture and flavor. For more recipes, please view my blog at www.anilamaharaj.com and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.